I'm going to show you the best way to make a placket for a senator wear. A placket is a very noticeable aspect of a senator wear. In fact, when you look at an outfit, the first thing you notice is the placket and the pocket. So today I'm going to show you the best method to make a proper placket for a senator wear. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Luyasi. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up in the comment section. Hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a first time notice of it. Let's get right into the video. Okay, let me just run through the list of things that we need to fix this placket. Now we need, you need your color gum. Some people use Saudi gum, some people use paper gum, but this gum, I found out that this gum is the best gum to use on a, on a placket for a senator wear. So it's called a color gum. Then the fabric that you want to use to make the shirt placket, you need a pair of scissors. Then you need hemming gum. So you take this gum stay, you place it on this side. But before you place it, you take your hemming gum, already called the length of the placket, the stay I cut, you place it on this area. Then you take the uh, collar gum that I cut, you place it on top of the hemming gum, making sure it's aligned with where you placed it. You know, you have to make sure there's about three inches of space or two and a half to three inches of space on this side. Then you take your pressing iron and you press. If you're using a steam iron just like me, make sure your steam is off because if you use steam to press this, collar gum is not going to gum properly on the fabric. So you off your steam, then you press. Turn it to the other side, then you press. Now you're going to turn this, this edge here, you're going to turn it like this. Then you're going to use your pressing iron, you're going to press. And on this other side, you're going to turn it this way. You take your pressing iron and you press. Now I'm going to take a piece of the hemming gum. I'm going to gauge it to the length of the this area. Then I'm going to divide it into two. So you're going to take a piece of this hemming gum. I divided into two. You're going to open this part that you press up. Then you're going to place it on this area. Then you're going to cover it up like this. Then you're going to press. You're going to do the same thing on this side. Place it like this, put it inside, turn it, then you press. Now the smaller parts, you're going to fold it in, turn it like this. Then you're going to take your pressing iron, you're going to press. Here in this part, it's recommended that you use steam. I always recommend that anytime you're doing this kind of work, you use a steam iron. You're going to press it. So now the hemming gum, you're going to divide it into two. I've cut the hemming gum to the length of the placket. You divide it into two. When you divide it into two, you are going to place it inside of your fold. The reason why we're placing this hemming gum inside of the fold is to make sure that place has a bit of um, rigidity. So that when you're sewing on top of it, it's going to come out, your stitch is going to come out very well. So uh, most of my works, I use hemming gum on almost all parts that I sew on. Now you're going to turn this area like this and you're going to iron it like this. I'm going to measure seven inches. That's what I use for the slit, the placket opening from the neckline. So I'm going to take seven inches out, cut out this down part to reduce, remove excess fabric from this area. Then I'm going to take a piece of my hemming gum. I'm going to place it inside of this area. I'm going to close it up like this. Then I'm going to press. I'm going to trim off this area, but I'm going to make sure there's, there's allowance at this edge. Then I'm going to fold here like this. When I fold here like this, I'm going to make sure this part is a little bit longer than this opening of this slit. So I'm going to press it like this. So this part I'm pressing now, this part that I just pressed is longer, is wider than the main flap itself. So I'm going to place it like this. As you can see, it's longer. This is the flap, but there's excess here. So that when I'm stitching it, it's going to stitch on top of it. And I'm going to take the remaining uh, hemming gum. I'm going to place it inside of here. Then I'm going to fold it like this. Then I'm going to press. Now we'll have to also press the one we'll fix on the other part of uh, placket opening. Uh, this The length of this will be the length of the whatever slit I open. So if it's seven inches, that means this length will be seven inches. So once you determine the length, you cut it, then you the width will be to be by uh, 
two inches then i'm going to cut a small piece of hemming gum i'm going to place it inside of here then i'm going to fold i'm going to press then this area i'm going to fold here like this i'm going to press then i'm going to fold here too like this to meet with this side press I'm going to fold this side like this to meet here like this. Then I'll press. Making sure the lower part now, the lower part now is longer than this upper part. There's a reason for that. When we're fixing, I'll explain. Okay, so now we're down to the fixing of the plaquettes. Now this is the plaquettes that we ironed, and this is what we're going to use to place around here, the, the slits of the front. So I'm going to trim this so that it will be the same size and uh, length with um the slit i made so i'm going to cut it so this is what we have here so this is the pocket but this is for another video okay so i'm going to fix this on this side so i'm going to take this part i'm going to place it here like this making sure it covers here the reason why i made the down part wider than this upper part is so that when i'm stitching on top it's going to stitch on top of the down lower part so i'm going to fix this underneath but when i'm stitching i'm not going to start from here because most times when i start from the top i experience issues i'm going to come down a little then i'm going to stitch insert this part into this rough edge to cover up the rough edge sure i get it at the edge back stitch i want to stitch that upper part that i didn't stitch so i'm going to come down slightly and i'm going to turn it i try not to back stitch this point because if i back stitch it is going to um, make the work and uh, not to align what i'm fixing not to align with the what i piped so i'm going to stitch taking it slowly stitch on top i'm going to stitch then i'm going to run a back stitch here then I'll make sure i catch it the first thing i'm going to do before i fix the flap is i'm going to stitch from this point you know i cut this opening this opening these seven inches from here to here so from just a little bit above what i cut i'm going to stitch at the edge so i to make a good finishing so i'm going to place it under the machine like this making sure i get, get it at the edge then i'm going to stitch making sure i stitch it at the edge i'm going to stitch back stitch now the length of our plaquette is 13.5 inches while the width of our plaquette is about one inch what i'm going to um, mark here now will be half of the width of this plaquette so i said the width is one inch so i'm going to mark on this part this other side where i'm going to fix it i'm going to mark half an inch so i'm going to place my mark like this half an inch i'm going to place my mark like this half an inch as i'm placing the placket i'm going to ensure that my half inch marking that's where the placket stops so i'm going to turn it like this to stitch stitch it the top part of the placket mark you can see my chalk i'm going to ensure that what this placket part it doesn't exceed this marking so i'm going to make sure it's aligned my half inch then i'm going to stitch Pressed. so this is the midpoint of my you ensure to make it easy you press this side as in you fold it the front part into two and press it so that you know the midpoint so i already know the midpoint as you can see there's a line here so i'm going to align the, the midpoint of my placket to merge with what i ironed you can see so i'm going to continue my stitch down i'm going to turn it like this too making sure i arrange the materials so in this part then I'm going to stitch. When I get to that point, when I get to that point, I'm going to stop exactly here. Yes. And I'm going to turn it like this. When I turn it like this, I'm going to stitch down this way like this. Then if you want, though this is optional, you can still do a little design. I'm going to come down like a triangle and I'm going to stitch like this. Okay, as you can see, we have our packet looking very nice and sharp. Uh, I just fixed it, so I'm giving it a good press so that um, you can see how well it will look. As you can see, it's looking very nice. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, Luyasi. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Hit me up in the comment section. Hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a first-hand notice of it. See you in my next video.